Hey guys, welcome to today's video. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B and thanks for stopping by. So today we are going to be doing a TJ Maxx shopping haul. Um, I got a few things for some really good low prices. It's not a lot of stuff, but I found some really new cool stuff at my TJ Maxx. And before we get into the video, just make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can be instantly notified when I upload. I do upload three days a week. I'll put it right here at the bottom of the screen at 5 p.m. Eastern time every single week week. You don't want to miss out. You want to be able to be notified instantly when I upload and become part of the hive and that we do so much fun stuff on this channel. I do makeup tutorials, product reviews, hauls, makeup challenges, all of that fun stuff. And as always, if you are already subscribed, thank you. Welcome back. I love you. I missed you. Let's get into this video. guys so I did pick up a few pretty good things at my local TJ Maxx it isn't a whole bunch of stuff I was really excited to see the things and the brands that I did find there so because like I said in my previous video of a TJ Maxx haul and I'll link it above um, it's kind of hit or miss at my TJ Maxx I'm pretty sure it's like that all of them but I found some really really good brands this time because usually it's always Too Faced Kat Von D and Stila. Like that's basically it of mine and sometimes you'll get Mac. So I'm just really excited to kind of share this stuff with you and what I got. And also before we get into the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am doing a huge 750 subscriber giveaway. So make sure you check that out in the video. I'm gonna link above and enter to win. It's a super fun thing to do and just like build this channel, build this community. And also for me to give back to you guys, my subscribers, you guys are so freaking awesome. and. I would not be doing any of this without you guys, so I just want to make sure I can get back to you. Let's see what I got. I don't like that they do plastic bags. It makes my videos sound weird. All right, so the first thing I picked up was this Evian facial spray. It is supposed to moisturize, refresh, and tone. Um, I've seen this all over the place. I'm trying to get it because the bottle is all white, so it is like really just glaring. Well, I got it for $9.99. It's originally $14.99. I've seen it in the smaller bottles, but never in this really big one. But I was like, I have to have it just because, well, I have to have all things beauty, but no, really. Um, I just think it's very gimmicky because honestly, the ingredients are water. <laughs> It's just, it's water in a can. So basically, everyone was like, we're going to dip our toes into everything, not just water. Let's do makeup too. So I'm going to go ahead and spray it on my face and kind of see how it feels because I've had this makeup on for probably a good like 30 minutes now. Oh my. Okay, so it comes out a lot, but it's actually, it's not bad. It's, it's pretty like, it put a lot of liquid on my face. I will tell you that. I don't know if you can see that. I can't see it in the viewfinder, but it did make my face feel nice. So I'm wondering if it's just like a refreshing spray. You could probably use this if you don't have makeup on. Like if you're traveling, you probably want a smaller one. But I think it's kind of gimmicky. But you know what? Hey, whatever. It's fun. We got it. So another thing that I was super excited about. Um, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, it's mine. So I got the Patrick Star and Matt collab of Me So Fleek. And I got this for $29.99 when it is compared to $49.50. So that was freaking awesome. And when you open it up, it comes with the card and the face chart, which this is freaking stunning. stunning. So I don't usually keep a lot of the packaging because I find it to be more hoarding than anything. Um, I know some of you guys really do like to collect the packaging, but... I think I'm going to hold on to this and maybe like frame it because this is really freaking pretty. So it says spring into fierceness and blossom into your own beauty. Live your floral fantasy. XOXO Patrick Star. So it says to get this Patrick to get the Patrick Star spring look. Check out the how to video at www.youtube.com slash user. OK, so it's Patrick Star's YouTube. Find that. Check that out. I don't subscribe to him, so. I just think that it was really pretty like as soon as I saw it but I was like I really don't want to spend that kind of money on it so I was really excited to get it for the price that I did so it is wrapped in this really pretty purple packaging and this is the quad go ahead and show that to you and then when you open it up you get these four stunning colors this actually looks close to the blue I have on my eye today but I'm using the KKW Beauty and Mario palette on my eye today. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these. We have the blue one, 
I don't know if it has names on it. Oh, so we have In Living Pink, All Rosy, Hickey, and In the Shadows. Not really sure how I'm supposed to know which is which, but we're going to go with it. It's kind of weird, right? So, Play With Me is this is what it's called. So I'm assuming it is In Living Pink, All's Rosy, Hickey, and In the Shadows. I don't know. We're going to go ahead and give those a swatch. Okay, that blue, I cannot wait to play with that blue. Like, that is fantastic. So, there's that. Oh. So, you get two lip items. You do get a lipstick, and this is Hey Boy Hey in a retro matte. I'm just going to go ahead and show you that color. Oh, it's very similar to the packaging color. It is like a purple pink. It smells very good. It has his signature on it. I just think this is so cute. I love the MAC Limited Editions. I have a ton of MAC lipsticks up here, so I'm excited to add that into my collection. And then we have a lip glass in Queen P. So here is the packaging, that more floral. It also has a signature on it. I just love this packaging. That's what grabs my eye when I first launched because I was like, oh my God, it's so pretty. All right, so it definitely looks like super pink in the tube, but when I put it on my hand, it definitely has some purple reflex here. So I think that this would look beautiful over this. And you guys know, I'm gonna say it again. I am super into gloss lips this year, although <laughs> most of the time on the videos, you have seen me with a matte liquid lipstick and that's because when filming for me it's easier to wear a matte that I don't have to worry about checking to see you know is it on my teeth and did it smear is it still glossy so but other than that like live my day-to-day -day life going out that kind of stuff I've been using gloss it's more comfortable it's so pretty and I really want to bring that back for 2019 but I think that this to these two would definitely be a beautiful combination on the lip especially during like spring summertime it's going to be fantastic okay moving on and this part was my favorite of the entire thing there was a little powder on the outside so i was very fearful to open this because i thought it was broken so this is the take me home blush duo and here is the packaging i'm going to kind of like hide the light if i can't nope can't all right, so here is the packaging. It just has that floral and it has his name, but it's raised here. It's just so freaking cute. Look at this whole container. It's just, it's all so freaking cute. So you have the darker blush, which is kind of like a, um, it's a deeper, I want to say pink maroonish. And then the bottom one, which is more of a duller, maybe dusty rose mix. But these are, these are something else. I love these. I love blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them. So this is the top color, and then this is the bottom. It looks a little patchy because I have really dry hands right now, but it'll look beautiful on the skin. So for $30, that to me was a freaking score because I got four MAC products for $30. Like you can't beat that at all. All right, so moving on to the next thing, which I was also super freaking excited to find. Um, Becca and Chrissy Teigen, I think that's her name, collabed and they made like a lot of beautiful items but like for me I just wasn't really into it enough to buy it at the time but I thought it was very beautiful very beautiful packaging so I did pick this one up this is the eyeshadow and highlighter duo two in one Becca x Chrissy cravings so this is the glow kitchen kit and it is kit cuisine the, I'm not sure glow kitchen kit I think that was just a different language I was speaking so I got this for $14.99, which it says compared to $21, but I think it might have been a little bit more than that when it first came out. So this says pull here for a recipe. Oh, so you get a Becca cinnamon sugar cookie recipe. All right. We're not really here for baking. It's not what we do on this channel. So that's cute, but moving on. All right. So you get a liquid, I think this is a matte liquid lipstick or I think they call theirs souffle. Yeah, so this is a lip souffle matte liquid lip. And then you get in here is the cinnamon sugar confectionery glow powder. 
And then, and this box is like super freaking cute. And like, you could take this out and then you have just like this. I would obviously like take the sticker off. So I think I might keep that. I do like the empty boxes. But, so this is actually kind of oily. I'm gonna wipe this off. It's kind of weird how oily it is. Ew. Ew. All right, so in here, this one is the Cinnamon Churro, and this is the Glow Souffle Eyeshadow and Highlighter Duo. So let me get that a little closer. Okay, so it says Becca, and then obviously has Chrissy's name on it. And it comes with this cute eyeshadow. By the way, this kind of reminds me a little bit of the packaging for the Dose of Colors, how they have like the shadow and then the almost like metallic underneath, I think it is, or maybe it's the shadow is metallic and then the powder underneath. So you open it up like this and you get this like putty almost like, like it's, it doesn't really fall out. It's like almost putty, um, very similar to, um, the Forcelli, it's like a Forcelli um, Stila mixture because it's not really runny like the Forcelli, but it's definitely like not as hard as the Stila. So it comes like that and I'll go ahead and I will swatch both of them. So you have the eyeshadow and then you have the highlighter, which is freaking blinding right now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some on my nose just to kind of see like, what do we got? Mm-hmm. I think it's subtle. Like, I definitely thought it was going to be way more. Ooh, okay. I'm going to try it on my cheek. I think that a lot of the oil that's supposed to be in here is what came out on the package. And I think that's why it's so stiff. Okay. That is really blinding and really pretty. I am loving this color. Oh, it's so like subtle yet blinding at the same time. Like you could definitely build this up to be like a super freaking like high shine highlighter. I'm, I'm here for it. I'm really excited to play around with this. Like I said, though, it feels like the oil, like you mix into the highlighter to make it like a little more creamy is definitely leaking out because it's all over the place. So then we have, like I said, the Confectionery Glow Powder. This is a loose highlighter. Okay, so this is actually pretty dark. I don't know if you guys can see like how dark that is, but I'm gonna try it anyways, just to kind of see what it does. I'm gonna put it over that glow that I just did. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely more of like a cinnamon bronze color so i may use it on like the lids or like when i'm tanning so because it's definitely going to be more for a darker skin tone than even mine it is so beautiful though very stunning so then moving on to the last item which is the liquid lipstick in the lip souffle it's just your basic nude color it's very pretty Oh, it's so pretty. It's kind of streaky though, I'm not gonna lie. It's giving me a lot of streakiness, I'll show you. So if you look here, it's just much darker on this side than it is over here. It kind of fades out a little bit. I don't know if you can catch that on camera or not, but it is a little bit more streaky. It smells okay, it doesn't really have too much of a smell. It has um, some orange undertone, so it's not as nude as I thought it was gonna be, but it's very pretty. And I think that for $15, this was a steal. All right, so two more items to go. Like I said, it wasn't a super big haul, but like now that I'm looking at it, like I have seven, eight pieces already out, but two of the things that I bought kind of, one came with three of them and one came with four. So I got, I lucked out. So this is the Becca Volcano Goddess Glow Gloss in Ruby Fire. Again, I am collecting more glosses to try to amp up my collection. All right, so, oh, it is like this ruby red gloss and it has a lot of red reflex in it. Oh my gosh. It's kind of um thick, I can definitely feel that. And it'll give me more, it smells like peppermint almost, more of like a stained look. 
but that is beautiful i can't wait to put that on my lips so i paid 7.99 for this one too and this one is 7.99 and this is the glow gloss in the endless summer glow with chrissy and becca if these packages could not be so blinding and this is in beach bum so this one has the becca and chrissy sticker on it and this is definitely more of a nude oh my god this gloss is like pigmented like it's not thick but it's pigmented i really 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 like this this is gonna be like the perfect nude for me again this one smells a little bit like peppermint which is kind of weird but it is what it is but it is really pretty so these two are probably my favorite items out of the entire thing that i bought especially this one if i put a good nude liner under there it doesn't look fantastic all right guys so that is it for my mini tj maxx haul let me know in the comments below what item you were really surprised to see in my tj maxx or what items when you walk in, you're surprised to see if you have any really cool items. Um, if you don't shop at TJ Maxx, let me know if there's like another discount place that I can try to shop at. Um, I do have a couple of hauls coming your way. I also have the Kylie Valentine collection review coming your way as soon as I get it in the mail. I bought the whole thing. All right, guys, as always, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you on the next one. Bye.